Welcome everybody out there for Bar TV's grand final week celebrations. It's the top end of the season. With us now, Hawks coach Scott Coleman. Scott, how are you feeling about this one? Uh, excited to be honest, yeah. It's definitely a celebration and we're looking forward to it and can't wait. Yeah, definitely. Now, the Wanderers have the tagline, rise above, but you guys are Hawks. Do you think they can rise above a Hawk? Yeah, I'm not sure how far they're going to have to wander up there to get above a Hawk, but I'm sure we'll be able to swoop down on them. Yeah, very good. And big news for you guys this week as well. You've got Pussy back in the side. Uh, Michael Dan helping out. Good show of community spirit by the rugby community. Yeah, definitely. Michael Dan done a great thing there for the Hamilton Rugby Club. Got him into surgery and got his hand operated on uh, two weeks ago. So that was able to get him cleared for the game this Saturday. Could have pushed him for last Saturday, but we didn't. had him on the bench and then wrapped him in cotton wool. So him back in is a massive boost for us. I tell you who you will be wrapping cotton wool this week. There's been a bit of talk about it. Uh, Keelan, the 5'8". Uh, do you expect your guys to protect him this week or, or what's happening there? Mate, uh, uh, Keelan actually wants to move himself to front row. He wants to get right in the middle of it. So we'll just take it as it comes and we'll see what happens. Well, Bakarich, he fancies himself as a fly half anyway, doesn't he? So uh, is that going to be as stands? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, everyone's as we were. Pusey will go back in the hooker, Lamont to number six and yeah, everyone else is the same. Uh, you're a coach that's known to have a few tricks up his, up his sleeve. Can you reveal any for the weekend? Mate, um, not really. No, we'd, uh, we're just going to play pretty well like we have all year and we're hoping to be a lot more enthusiastic in the first 20 that we haven't been the last two weeks. So that's something we've really looked at this week and we're hoping to address. Yeah, very good. Out of the 15 starting, who's raring to go and who should we watch out for this weekend? Mate, uh, there's quite a few ready to go. The uh, forwards weren't too happy with their performance last time we played Wanderers, so they're rare and ready to go. Um, probably a bit of an injury cloud, or massive injury cloud at the moment with Sefer, so we're not sure what he's going to do, but we'll see how he goes, so we'll see what happens. Well, that wry little smile tells me he is in for all money. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you do win the trophy, how long will the celebrations go for? Oh, mate, I'm not sure. They'll go for a fair while, I'm sure. They'll at least go to uh, probably till they will continue through to the uh, NRC game here and party on that night as well. It's a week of rugby for Newcastle. Yeah, very good. Thanks very much for your time, Bubba, and all the best for the weekend. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much.